Hi guys and welcome back to another video here on my channel. I've got a Premier League reaction from the weekend and my predictions for the weekend coming up. Thinking of making this a double video from now on, um, you know, do like a Tuesday upload for the um, reaction to the weekend. I feel like Wednesday is probably a little bit too far away from the weekend. And then Thursday I'll get my react my predictions up because it's a small, just make two smaller videos maybe. Let me know what you think below. Um, and then get the leads, the leads, um, predictions and results out on the Friday and the Sunday, depending on when they play, obviously. Um, so yeah, so um, bear with me on that one. Um, let me know what you think. So that's that's what I'm sort of thinking. Um, two shorter videos, easier for editing and all that sort of stuff. Um, and more content for you guys. Upload more regularly, a little bit easier. So um, as always, if you could drop me a like, comment and subscribe, that'd be fantastic. Um, and let me know your thoughts below on the Premier League week this weekend. So, first of all, we had Liverpool versus Watford. I predicted this one to be 3-0. Um, ended up being 5-0. It ended up being basically what I thought it was going to be. Um, it was all Liverpool. They're looking extremely strong this year. Um, we played them three weeks in. Um, and let's be honest, it was... Um, it, it was they've, they've pretty much maintained what, they've, what they're doing there. Mo Salah looks out of this world. Is he the best player on the planet right now? Um, let me know in the comments below, but the way he's playing, he's, I mean, he's always been up there in that sort of top five conversation, but is he number one? Messi not playing very well, Ronaldo scoring goals, but not really playing well, bit of controversy around him, um, and how he fits in Man United and how he fits as a player. Um, but yeah, Mo Salah, he's on a different planet. He's, he's, uh, he's in that Lewandowski conversation as well. So let me know your thoughts there on that one, but yeah, it looked pretty stock standard for Liverpool. Watford pretty much showed what they did against against Leeds. We should have put more than one past them, if I'm honest with you. Um, Watford not looking very good. So I think right now they're probably candidates for going down as well with Norwich. Um, but yeah, um, overall pretty stock standard day at the office for Liverpool. Um, actually, getting on to Norwich, uh, they got a 0-0 draw with Brighton. Now, I had this one as a 2-0 to Brighton because the way Brighton been playing. Um, they've been scoring lots of goals. But back to that, they didn't really break Norwich down, surprisingly. It was a bit of a... A bit of a dull game in the end, um, nil nil. Good point for Norwich. Points dropped for Brighton. Uh, it was, it is what it is. I think Brighton have got um, they've got to, they're going to have these sort of results where they should be picking up points. I'm a bit worried about the Norwich game. That feels like a banana skin for Leeds at the moment. The way we've been playing, especially in Southampton. My video uh, about that that match reaction um, is up on the channel if you want to have a watch of it. Um, it's a bit more of a uh, I wouldn't say angry, I was a bit more frustrated, disappointed in the team. So um, it's not a super great video in that sort of sense. If, uh, but, but, you know, I sort of talk about where Leeds are at and things. So um, look, in the end, that was yeah, a nil-nil, nil-nil scoreline. You know, I had it 2-0, but can't get them all right. Um, Wolves versus Villa. Now, I had this Villa 2-1. Um, I thought Villa would have too much for him. End up 3-2 to Wolves. What a game. Um, Villa were 2-0 up and... And then uh, Wolves just started attacking. There was, it, it was it was just relentless. Um, deflected ninety third minute goal from Ruben Neves from a free kick. Um, but wow, how great would it have been to be at that game? Um, that was a the, the Midlands derby there. Wolves really showing what they can do. Um, are they going to be up there? Probably not. They're probably mid table, but. Villa's sort of having some banana skins. People thought they might be pushing for Europe this year or a close to maybe that next sort of Everton spot, but not really not really kicking on as much in some games as others. Um, a bit like Brighton where they're gonna slip up in games and then they're gonna they're gonna um, pump other teams. But yeah, what a game, what a great game to watch. Um Yeah, Saez I think got the first. Um they just they just scrapped, they really fought right until the end, which is what you want to see from a team. Um, I wish we saw that more from Leeds, but yeah, just a just a great game in the end. Just really exciting. Um, I wish there was a game like that every weekend, but yeah, Wolves really really starting to put the put the pedal down on the ground now, and they're starting to sort of get a bit of momentum. They've got Leeds this week. I've got my video coming up on Friday for that. I'm not not super confident if I'm honest with you, um, but yeah, look, they um, they they're they're in good form at the moment. So well done to them, especially after the last season they had. Maybe it was Nuno Espirito Santos. He hasn't really done much at um, at at Tottenham either. So maybe maybe losing him has meant they're a bit more progressive. I think they're still still got that defensive element, and they all they will for a while until the until the players sort of start to roll over. But um, yeah, they really really attacked. Um, they're attacking a bit with a bit more um, 
a bit more direct. Um, Leicester versus Man United. Now, this was a game. I predicted 2 all draw. Um, I got Man United score right, but it ended up being 4-2 to Leicester. Pfft, Leicester were just... Wow. Um, I saw somebody had predicted a 3-1. There was a Leicester fan that predicted 3-1 for Leicester. Um, I've heard that when he predicts stuff, he's usually pretty critical of his team. So he, pre he predicted they beat Man United. And they, did have that, they do have that sort of football that does counter Man United in some respects because they are especially with the two centre-backs they had, Maguire and Varane out, they, they did, they were a bit um, vulnerable at the back. Vardy got on the score sheet, um, I sort of thought he would. Um, but Man United didn't really, like, they, they sort of, they played all right, but then um, Leicester getting back into the game, it was 2 all right until pretty much the very end, and um, there were some cracking goals in this. Uh, Tillman's goal was, 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 was really, really, really good. Um, just sort of got it first time and flicked it into the top left hand corner. It was it was fantastic. It, it was just a really really good good game, and I hate saying it because you know you know as a Leeds fan thoughts on on Man United, but yeah, a fun game to watch again. It's much like the Wolves game. I uh, really enjoyed watching it. So where does that go for Man United? Um, you know, great result for Leicester. I haven't been having some good results recently, but that's another good result for them. Man United. I've been seeing a lot of things about Ronaldo as I spoke about before. Is he good for the team? Um, when you got the chance to sign Ronaldo, I think you you can't say no. But the what I would say is that his work rate defensively and he's not isn't great. I see him as like the Harry Kane sort of style thing where he just sort of expects to just plod around a bit. Um, Messi sort of times plods around and then when it's attack, it's go go go, which is fine, and he'll score your goals. But the way the football's played right now. Um, everyone's sort of got to have some sort of defensive game um, and the players like your Harry Kane's and Ronaldo's and Messi's get caught out just a little bit sometimes. Um, obviously, the offensive output is so big, people forget about it, but um, they get caught out and, and sometimes it, the defensive side isn't fantastic. And like I said, look, you're not expecting Ronaldo to chase all the way back and make some sort of big sliding tackle, but you expect a bit of pressure from him, but he sort of just stands there even if attacking sometimes i see him just sort of stood there and look he makes the runs at the right time you know i'm not saying he's a bad player and he's obviously a light years better footballer than myself but um just an observation that maybe he's not doing as much as what he he, he maybe could um as, as that sort of striker but the blame will come back on ollie which again i don't think ollie's the right man for the job but look i'm not the one to be making that opinion when i'm a leeds fan um uh, but Ronaldo sort of he'll they'll they'll service him before they you know they'll they'll, they'll play the blame blame on other people before they blame him. But um, anyway, enough on that one. The Man City Burnley I uh, predicted three nil end up two nil so close enough and it was pretty much Man City from start to finish. Um, what else can you say? It's just Man City. I think that's a Liverpool Man City run for the for the for the title at the moment. Man United dropping points again. Um, Chelsea look Chelsea looks strong but. They're yet to be really challenged, um, except for the Liverpool game, which they probably arguably should have won that if it wasn't for the red card. But I just think that they're gonna they're gonna drop points at some at some point. But look, you know, if you make an argument, it's those three in the race. Man United probably aren't anymore. They'll be they'll be around there, uh, but I can't imagine they'll be. They're not going to finish top, I don't think. Um, which will maybe if they don't get another trophy, that will probably cost United uh, Ollie his job. Um, they're out of the Carabao Cup, FA Cup, one of the two. Um, uh, so that cup's gone. So they've either got a, I think they're in, what are they in Champions League or whatever. So they've got to make a push for that, which I doubt. Or they've got to win the league. So look, Ollie's got to get a, a title either way. Um, I'm not sure if he's going to do it. So we'll see what happens there. It's interesting. Uh, Chelsea versus Brentford. I had this one as 2-1. Two, two, uh, end up 1-0. Brentford, I thought it'd be 2-1 because I thought Brentford would get on the score sheet, but I think I thought Chelsea would have too much for him going forward. End up 1-0, um, and Brentford were really, really, really resolute. So um, they're not really dropping off at the moment. Um, it's got the Sheffield United feel about them, whether they do well next season, I'm not too sure. Leeds did the same thing last year. They caught teams off guard. I think Brentford's like a good hybrid between the two. Sheffield United were defensively solid. Leeds were offensively solid. And now they're getting found out this year because they're not scoring goals. Sheffield United got found out because they couldn't score goals in the first season, but they defended really well. 
second season they didn't defend very well and then they got relegated. Leeds are looking like they're in relegation battle because they're not attacking very well. This Brentford side seems to have a good balance of the two. They defend quite well and they attack quite well. They don't go too far one way or the other. So interesting to see how they go. Obviously, they're going. I think they're going to stay up unless they have some massive run now where they drop off. Um, but they should be they should be pretty safe. And we'll see how they go next season if they can keep that balance right and keep bringing those players. And they seem to invest in these in these players that aren't worth much that just seem to continuously do well. Um, so we'll see how they how they go there. But I think they'll be pretty safe this season. Um, the Everton versus West Ham game, I predicted a draw, end up one 0 to West Ham. Um, yeah, much of the same. I, I thought maybe it might have gone the, the way of West Ham. Um, but if I was to lean towards a winner, um, but look, it was I predicted one 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 all in the end, which wasn't too far off. Um, yeah, not much to really report on that one. It's West Ham are just plodding along, but they seem to have these games. I don't know if they're playing at their full potential. Like they started off um, really, really, really um, on fire, and then there's just some games I just don't I don't get that feeling of them really pushing for Europe. And other times they do, and they they pull these little results out of the bag, like the Leeds result where. They probably didn't deserve any points and they end up getting the full three. So they'll do that all year round and, and that's that's just what West Ham will do. Um, uh, Tottenham versus Newcastle, I predicted this 2-1, end up 3-2. So same difference in goals, but there's more goals. Uh, Tottenham, got, uh, Newcastle taking the lead early. Um, you know, last minute red card for Shelby, but um, Tottenham really showing that they're not... You know, like, the, they'll be they would be worried about the new, the new owner bounce if you can call it, if you can say there's going to be one. Um, but I think Newcastle would have been expecting one. But look, two goals against Tottenham is not too bad. Um, they'll invest in the in the, in the the um, the January transfer market and probably bring some decent players in. I don't know who might do a video on that. I keep saying that, but I, I haven't done it. So I need to really look into it. I feel like a Raheem Sterling would be a great signing for them um, at this stage where he's not really wanted as much by Man City, but he could go to a club like Newcastle and, and keep them up and just, Bring them up, um, and with him, uh, he could bring them up, yeah, to the top of the top of the league sort of area in the into Europe. Um, he's a player that would, you know, that would do that, and he would stick around until they're like. It's not like he gets he's got a ceiling of mid table, and then he drops off. He's got the potential to play at the highest level, as we know, um, and as he's proven over the years. Um, so yeah, three two, um, yeah, look probably a fair result in the end. Um, Steve Bruce isn't the man for the job. He's going to leave eventually. Whether they just keep him until January and see how he goes, I'm not too sure. Um, Arsenal versus Palace. I predicted 1-0, end up 2-0. Um, Palace I probably probably didn't give enough, and again, didn't give enough respect. And I, and I said in the in the, um, the pre-game that Palace were, um, I've got to sort of eat humble pie a little bit. I didn't think that'd be very, very good, but they, they do look quite decent. And Vieira's proven that he can organise the team. Um, I thought Arsenal would have enough to get the job done. Look, it's ended up two 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 in the end, and Palace showing that that they're a decent side. But what's interesting is Arsenal lost the first three games of the season. It was all Arteta out. Um, even from people who aren't Arsenal fans, they go on that the run where they do really really well, and then everyone's saying, "Oh, maybe it was just the start of the season." And then they draw this one game, and everyone's back to Arteta out. I don't, I don't quite get. Whether it's Arteta out or not, I, I, me myself, I'm. It's, it's a, usually it's been very easy to tell if it's if they, they should leave, or the manager should leave or not, and I don't. I genuinely don't know. Um, I genuinely can't tell whether he should leave or not. Um, I don't. I'm not invested in Arsenal, so I don't. I don't fully understand the situation. So it'd be ill advised of me to speak about that in any sort of depth. But just from what I see on a football performance scale, they really hit and miss. Um, he's had a bit of time at the club now. Um, look, I would say if it gets to January and nothing improves and they're still dropping games that they should be winning and they're still winning games that, that, that they don't expect, maybe he keeps his job. Maybe maybe he doesn't. I don't know. Um, very weird situation there. And he's an up-and-coming manager, and but you've got to think that the players bought in if, uh, if that was down to him. Um probably weren't super ambitious signings, but enough to sort of be higher than mid-table. So a weird one. I don't know. I'm pro I'd am probably more lean towards Arteta out 
But again, it's not my place to say. I don't. I don't fully understand the club. I don't claim to understand the Arsenal club. So, uh, if you're an Arsenal fan, don't please don't come at me for it. Um, but I, 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 I would lean towards Arteta out. If, if me personally, if it, if that was Leeds or if I was an Arsenal fan, I, that's the way I would sort of see it. But I'd be probably a bit more advised. Um, so yeah, that was the games from the weekend. Um, very, 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 very good weekend. Um, fun weekend. Good games. I really, really enjoyed. Um, and let's move on to the predictions. All right, as always, going to read this off my phone because it's nice and quick. I don't take too much time on these. I sort of just give a little reason why. Um, Arsenal, Aston Villa. Uh, I'm going to say an Aston Villa result. They didn't win against Wolves. I think they bounced back. I think that Arsenal... Um, this is a sort of game that Arsenal loses and then they sort of melt down about it. Um, so I'm going to turn around and say maybe a 2-1 win to Aston Villa. Um, and then I think it's going to cause a bit of a bit of havoc. Um, quite, it could quite easily end up being like a one-all draw or something, but I'm just going to just feel Aston Villa are going to win it this week and bounce back. Chelsea, Norwich, uh, this will be 4-0 Chelsea. I'm going to go something big like that, 4-0 Chelsea. I think Norwich got a good result on the, um, on the weekend against Brighton. But Chelsea gonna to have too much. Lukaku's gonna have a field day against those defenders, um, and I can't imagine that Norwich gonna score a goal against that Chelsea backline. So I'm gonna go four nil. I think it's gonna be constant attack, and it's gonna be one of those games that you really enjoy watching, which is it's just relentless, relentless football. Um, Crystal Palace, Newcastle. This will be an interesting one. Uh, Newcastle seem to be getting these odd results. Uh, they they need at least a draw. Um, but I'm going to turn around and say a, I think it's going to be 2-0 Crystal Palace. I think that they're going to, um, they're the sort of side that these they, think they, they, they get these sort of results against the Newcastles and the like. And I think that I, I find it hard to see Newcastle breaking um, Crystal Palace down. Um, and I think Newcastle will be too easy to get at. Uh, Leeds Wolves, I'll have my prediction out on Friday. Um, again, it's not going to be super positive, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, Everton versus Watford. Um, Watford aren't, aren't great, so I'm going to go 2-0 Everton because I don't think... They, they attack quite well, but I can't see them scoring three or four. I think it'll be 2-0 Everton. It'll be quite comfortable in the end. Watford not really showing much in the last two games especially. Uh, Southampton versus Burnley. Southampton, uh, a good result against Leeds. Both teams had players out, um, and I think... Southampton showed they got a bit more depth than Leeds. Um, they'll have their players back this week. They'll, I think it was War Prowse and, and uh, Che Adams. I think they're back this week. I, again, I don't, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but I think that they, I think Burnley again, um, they're, not, they're not great this year either. I'm, I'm sort of looking right now at Burnley, Watford and Norwich as being the ones that go down above Leeds. <laughs> Fingers crossed, please. Um, but I think I think Southampton, that's got like a 1-0, 1-0 on it there. Um Burnley struggling to score goals. Southampton are as well, but they're um they've probably got just a bit more than Burnley. Um, Bright uh, Brighton versus Manchester City. Uh, Brighton playing quite well, but um, uh, yeah, I, this has probably got a two one written all over it. I think Brighton might score, but I think Man City are going to be just too good. They're looking very very good again this year. Um, um, not much else to say about that one. That was a pretty simple one to predict. Uh, West Ham Tottenham. Now this would be interesting. Do Tottenham it depends what Tottenham show up. I don't think, again, I've said this before, I don't think West Ham are playing that great this year. Uh, the last few games haven't played fantastic, but they seem to make things happen. And I've just got this feeling they're going to just run right over Tottenham. And I'm going to go with a 2-0 win. And I think they're going to make it really easy. I think uh, it's going to look defensively solid. Uh, they're going to hit Tottenham on the counter a lot. And Tottenham are going to look like they're going to struggle. That's the way I see this playing out. Again, look, football's... A, a, a completely different game. You don't know what's going to happen. It's it's that's the reason why we love it and the reason why we do predictions and not you know facts. Um, so I think I think that will be two 0 and be quite uh quite quite a, a good game from West Ham. I think they're going to start to hit some form again now. They've had a, a bit of a slump where they've picked up results but not played super great. Uh, Brentford versus Leicester. Now this is going to be an interesting game as well. Now I think about it. Um, Brentford playing really really well. Leicester coming off a massive win against Man United. I think Leicester, Man United, the way that they play, it suits that. I can see Brentford giving them in trouble. Um, I'm going to say a two-all draw. I think Brentford will pick up a point here. I think Leicester will, at times, attack quite well, but they'll be resolute at the back, Brentford. 
Um, and I think Brentford will start scoring some goals. Ivan Tony will get one. He hasn't scored for a little bit. So um, I think it'll be a two-all draw on that one. And the last game, the biggest derby or, you know, the biggest rivalry game of them all, sorry, not derby, is Man United-Liverpool. Oh, I can't go past Liverpool because of how they're playing. But Man United seem to just pick up for the, this Liverpool game. There's been years before where Man United have been languishing outside of Europe and somehow picked up a result against Liverpool. So, but the way Samo Salah's been playing right now, he's going to tear him apart. Um, Rashford seems to pick up for these games as well. I think he obviously he understands what the game is about. Uh, but I'm going to go with a 2-1 Liverpool win. I think that Ronaldo will score. I don't think they're going to score first. and But I think Liverpool are going to dominate the game and, and they're going to take it to him. So, We'll see what happens there, but we, um, you know, it, it could go. That could go anyway. I, those results are really hard to pick because you don't know what's going to happen. That you genuinely don't know what's going to happen. So I'm going to say two one. Um, but again, is that, is that main? Is that Old Trafford? I think so. I don't know, but I'll stick with two one. Two one win. So thanks again for watching, guys. Again, I'm going to do these videos and just, I'm going to probably split them up next week um, instead of one big video. It's hard to get viewer retention with a bigger video, but um, I appreciate. It. Let me know in the comments below what you think is going to happen. Um, I, I appreciate um, the comments in other videos. It's always really interesting seeing what people think, um, and then I sort of I have a look at the comment and how the results went as well. So I, I do look at that. Um, but yeah, let me know um, what you reckon and uh, leave me a drop. A drop, drop me a sorry. Drop me a, a like, a comment, and subscribe. It'd be fantastic, and uh, I'll speak to you very soon. Peace.